So, boats. What a fucking minefield. Some people should know better. I know who you are. Gas safe should. I have all the details. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him a message. <clears throat> so only one bucket and one boat were harmed in the making of this film. So this book, so this book, there's a reason that it's battered and that's because I use it. All my books have damage to them because they get used. Because if I'm not sure, I look it up. That's all I'm saying. Come with me now and let's see a job that Gas Safe condemned. customer's boat. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the existing gas installation which is brand new, uh, done by a gas engineer who's gas safe registered or LPG um, qualified, sorry I'm watching the swans and ducks go by, um, qualified to work on boats uh, but obviously doesn't ever read his book or, or whatever. Let's show you around the existing gas installation. Okay, so here we are. The uh, the client has removed uh, the cover here, which is called a cratch cover. Uh, they've removed that for me to make this easier. What I want to show you, I want to show you the gas locker, which is that there. That's where your cylinder is held. So any LPG engineer will know that that uh, that regulator is in completely the wrong place. And there's where the gas pipe exits. Anything that breaches this gas locker must remain sealed, uh, vapor sealed. So, so that's the gas pipe that's been put in. So not only is that a gas pipe straight for a metal hole, you'll also notice that's 15 mil pipe, which I'm pretty sure doesn't comply. Basically 15 mil pipe, other than I think one, can't be used on boats. So. A, you don't drill a hole down here on a boat, it should be here. And it should use a fitting like this. That fitting is called a bulkhead fitting. And that basically creates a seal there so that this remains vapor tight. Also, I mean, I think that's ridiculous personally. I think that's, is that someone's standard of work? What? Oh, I know what that's for. When you get in and it's all muddy, before you go inside, you just hang your shoe up. Oh. He hasn't, he hasn't done a very good job. The screws are a bit longer. Okay, so now we're gonna show the continuation of this gas run. So, so far we've got one clip. I send an old hole into an old water tank. So this is, this would be used to fill the uh, the water tank to, for the drinking water and for washing your cups and plates and whatnot. So you use that. We'll go inside and we'll see the continuation of this. In here again, this gas pipe is down here. Now, we're on a canal boat, so the water level is probably about here, outside. Um, and a gas pipe on a canal boat, or in any, any watercraft, is meant to be uh, a gunnel height, which is basically this height here. And if you look out the window, well, I'll take you outside to show you what the gunnel is. It's this. That's the gunnel, so it needs to be As high as practical, ideally above the gunnel, not at floor level. So that gas pipe then runs in behind the sh 
it's, uh, it's quite dark in here. Here's the gas pipe. And there's some rather dubious pipe work there. Um, we're reusing existing oven and hob here. So once that's all done, there are some things that need to be done. Obviously I need to test uh, the hob and oven and grill, make sure they're all working properly. Uh, I also need to do the ventilation requirements. Now, right now we have on the, on the door behind me, the low level vent is closable. So the high level vents are mushroom vents on the top and they're all fine. But the, uh, the low level vent here is closable. So I need to deal with that as well. So yeah, need to sort out the regulator, it's too low. The bottle can be secured in there. I need to get rid of the screw holes through the gas locker. I need to seal the old hole. I need to drill new holes, use bulkhead fittings to get the pipe work in. And like I say, 15 mil pipe is probably a no-no. I can't imagine anyone's gone out and bought the specific 15 mil pipe required for boats. Nah. I'm gonna stick an air test on this to see how tight this actually is, how sound it is. And then I'm gonna rip it out. Okay, so I've done the, um, I've done a quick air test. It's held with the old appliances connected. It's held as well, so we know the old appliances don't leak gas. Now about to uh, start ripping all this out and try and make good the problems that the uh, previous engineers caused. So this boat is basically being done up. It's a renovation sort of job. What a quaint, relaxed lifestyle, I think. Other than having to constantly move it every two weeks. I don't think you could do it with a wife and three kids though. I don't think that would work out too well. Okay, just so you know, I've checked that the holes in the gas locker here, the holes there in the corner are the right size, which they are, they're more than big enough. And they're high enough above the water line when it's fully loaded, so. There it is there. Well above the water line. So there's two of them either side, they're above the water line. They're the only hole, the only opening you're meant to have into the gas locker. So yeah, let's get on with trying to get this stuff out. He's pasted everything. So you don't use paste on LPG either. If I can find the relevant information on this pipe, I guarantee this pipe is wrong as well. That is definitely not the right wall thickness. Okay, so the copper isn't of a type suitable for use on a boat. So I mean, gas safe missed that. The moment I saw it was 15 mil, that was my first thought. Mm, it's probably not right. Yeah, I've checked. I'll cut the photo in here. You'll see what I mean. It's really simple stuff. Really basic, really simple. It's in the on-site guides. There's nothing difficult about that. Um, just, yeah, someone should have done their homework. The thing is, right, it's fine if you don't understand stuff. It's fine. Um, you, that's why you get on-site guides, because they know we can't know it all. We can't remember everything. So if you're coming to a job like this where you're unsure, then read your book. I mean, that's what I've done. I don't do boats every day. I've had a read of my book, make sure i am got an idea of exactly how I'm meant to do things. Cool, so this is the bit that passes through the floor. And uh, yeah, that's just been bent from below to make that angle. It didn't crease though, so I mean, that's that's one thing. The fact it's the wrong copper with the wrong fittings and the wrong olives and paste. I mean, that, that's neither here nor there. And there we go. Final piece of overwhelming evidence, a brass olive. Okay. There were copper olives on a lot of the fittings. Although they weren't the right type, they weren't the annealed type. They were still copper. Can't use brass olives on a boat, on gas. Hmm. That was brave, wasn't it? So now there's a hole in an open deck. <laughs> I mean, what? All right, so I managed to get the old uh, the old fitting out of that hole into the gas locker. But now it's time to try and uh, get that hole widened to fit a bigger bulkhead fitting because this doesn't go through. Oh, it's getting a bit windy now. 
So I could have done with an apprentice on this one because look how I'm going to do this nut up. Got my foot holding it here. And the ratchet this side and I can barely reach. Okay, so this is the correct type of olive to use on a on a boat. Can you see how it's very thick? Anyway, that's what you should see on boats. So there we go, just changing over the olives to the correct annealed copper type suitable for boats and LPG. Nice little offset. And then I'll just get all this clipped up away from these cables. And that gets us into the kitchen. And then I'll get outside and do that bit there. So I'm just finishing up. I couldn't uh, I couldn't connect anything up today because these hoses are not not sure. So it may say LPG on them, but they're for LPG uh, fuel hoses. That LPG fuel hoses are not LPG gas hoses. So they have no BS, no EN numbers on them. They look nice. Who knows what quality they are? Who knows what temperature ratings they're suitable for? Who knows any of it? Slowly, slowly. So we're nearly done. We uh, got a bubble tester in. It's clipped up. Disappears in there. All that's left is a uh, rubber pipe from here to the regulator that's gonna go on the bottle. Uh, I was just checking them chains work and they do. I've secured that, I just need to cut them off and grind them a bit smooth. The bolts that is. And here's our pipe. Runs in and across. Two bulkhead fittings. I repaired the bulkhead down there. That's uh, an M20 nut, so that's actually quite a big boy there. And that goes through and it's just bolted up. I can't do anything about that because they've just knocked a hole in that of a hammer. So that's this bit out here done. The ventilation here is undersized significantly. This is what we got. That's what we need. And obviously being a boat, or being a canal boat, it's a steel door. It's going to be four or five mil thick, so it's going to be interesting. Treated the bare edges of the steel. Just there you go. Can you see that? I've just done a very, very light bead here. And when the vent goes on that, it will, any water that gets behind the vent will just hit that and run around the outside and drip off down the bottom here. Holes are nice, nicely threaded. Yeah, you can see that. I'm gonna get that vent on now. All done. Fits beautifully. I've got this leak that I need to find. I've got this white hose, the Testo one that comes with it, and onto my screwdriver. It also drops on this black hose. <laughs> but not on my water gauge. Oh, bloody warm in here very quick. So we've got 37 millibar of all the rings of the hob running. This is all from previous fire. All good. Let's have a look and I'll show you in here. In there, our braze joints there, and uh, see there, that's some sleeving because there's a lot of electrical cables behind the fridge, and then runs under there, and it's 30 mil away from all them cables through a bulkhead fitting. Out of another bulkhead, well out of a bulkhead fitting. 
into the gas locker. Bolted up that big hole. Some rivets in them ones. All these holes here. And that one was all created by the previous engineer. Just testing the oven. It's gone down to low flame. Check the door seals with some paper, they were fine. There we go, it goes back up to high flame. See what happens if we turn it down now. Yeah, we can get it to go down to low flame. Lovely. So now obviously these bubble testers, what happens, you press them down. With everything on. And you're checking for any bubbles. That come out of that little tube inside that clear container. So any bubbles coming out there would indicate a gas leak. Which obviously we haven't got. So I'll let go. That's it, it's good to go. Okay, so I'm sure you're aware with LPG you have to have uh, holes in the floor for uh, for gas to escape. If there's gas leak, especially around cookers and things like that. So um, I'm just going to do that now. Oh, what's going on? What? No. Okay, so that's the boat all done. The only thing I really wish is that it was uh, a bit nearer where my van's parked. That would have been excellent. Anyway, all done.